if Jesus is God, I would like you to show me one verse, only one statement anywhere in your Bible, any version of the Bible where Jesus says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. There is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. Challenge accepted. After so many years, a lot of gullible Muslim fanboys of Ahmadidad and Zach and Ike still repeat the same childish challenge. What is the point of this challenge, my Muslim friends? If we can prove it from the gospel, would you leave Islam and accept Christ as your Lord and God? Is that what you Muslims are trying to tell us? For real, be honest. Else, why would you ask this same silly question after so many years and so many refutations? Now, going by that logic, my Muslim brothers and sisters in humanity, you have to worship Pharaoh in the Quran because he said in chapter 79, ayah 24 of the Quran, I, meaning Pharaoh, am your Lord the Most High. Since that is the silly challenge of Didat and Zechariah, which you gullible Muslims have on auto-repeat, well, are you going to worship Pharaoh since he claimed to be God like Allah in your Quran? Pharaoh just said, I am God. That's the challenge of Didat, right? Do you see how silly and childish this argument is? Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. Now, let us prove to any Muslim that Jesus did claim to be the Lord. In Arabic, Ar-Rabb. But wait, my Muslim friends, if you claim to be a true practicing Muslim, you should know that Ar-Rabb or the Lord with the definite article V or Al, Alif Lam, can only be used for Allah according to Islam. So if we can prove that Jesus claimed to be Ar-Rabb, that means he literally claimed to be God and we refuted and answered this so-called challenge. So... There is no way out for you, my Muslim friends. Again, that means Jesus is the Lord and God of the Holy Bible, and we refuted the silly challenge of the deceiver Didat and the supposed medical doctor and his foolish student, Zekar Naik. So first, let us go to Tafsir ibn Kathir for Surah Al-Fatiha, chapter 1, ayah 2 of the Quran, to make things more clear. It says in the Arabic, وَلَا يُسْتَعْمَلَ الرَّبْ لِغَيْرَ اللَّهِ بَلْ بِالْإِضَافَةِ تَقُولْ رَبُّ الدَّارِ رَبُّ كَذَا وَأَمَّا الرَّبْ بِالْأَلِفْ وَاللَّامْ فَلَا يُقَالْ إِلَّا لِلَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ Translation, and you cannot use a rub with the definite article the, L with the alif lam, meaning the Lord or a rub except for Allah. In addition to that, you can say Lord of the house, for example, without the definite article the or L. Remember, without the definite article. So you can be Lord of your house, but you cannot claim to be the Lord or Rub of mankind. Else, that would be idolatry or shirk, as the Muslims say. But the word or Rub with the definite article the or L can only and literally only be used for Allah Almighty. Christians, I hope you can take notes. This is highly important to refute this common Muslim objection. Now, if we go to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 11, we can read that Jesus Christ sent two of his disciples to find a cult on which no one has set. Jesus tells his disciples, if anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Then say, the Lord, a rub, has need of it. As you see, Jesus claims to be the Lord, a rub, with the definite article, the, or el, in the Arabic. But wait, according to the Islamic rules, no one, I mean no one, can claim or be called a rub, the Lord, except Allah, or else that would be shirk, remember? So as you see, Jesus did claim to be a rub, and this is the answer and refutation of this common Muslim objection against the divinity of Christ. And if we go to the Arabic translation of Mark 11, we see that the same definite article, L or the, 
is used. Here again it says that Jesus says to his disciples, Say, a rub, a rub is in need of this cult. As you see, Jesus did claim to be divine. He is the Lord God of the Holy Bible. I hope that the Muslims who are watching this video will stop using this silly argument of Didat and Zach and Nike because we just destroyed this childish objection. Do you see how embarrassing this objection or challenge is, my Muslim friends? For an Arabic-speaking Christian, it's very easy to refute Didat and the likes of Didat and at the same time showing you their ignorance about Christianity and Islam. Wake up, Muslims. Your heroes, Didad and Zakarnaik, are munafiqun, hypocrites and deceivers. Because Jesus Christ claimed divinity by calling himself Ar-Rab, the Lord of mankind with a definite article. Jesus claimed to be the Lord, the God, and the judge of your false prophet Muhammad. Thanks for watching. Please share this video on social media. Let it go viral for everybody to see. And I hope you can use this information whenever a gullible follower of Didad or Zakanaik dares to ask you this silly question again. Just show them my video.